Gus is a pretty special five-year-old, so it's all basic good training is what I work on. He's a very trainable horse. As you can see, he's fairly large. So, uh -huh. he's very trainable, but very large. So, to me, with young horses in their development, the bigger they are, the longer they take. You have to be, you know, you have to be not quite so greedy because he's got a lot of mass to develop strength with. So, um, every day when I ride him, I'm just working on his education and his strength development. So, teaching him longitudinal aids, go bigger, go smaller, buddy, in a good balance, and lateral aids, go sideways, in a good balance. You know, just easily, supplely, um, the strength is just letting his body catch up to to the education of that, right? So he can put the two together. Um, so I did a little counter canter today. I think that's a wonderful strengthening and lengthening exercise for the canter. I know there's a lot of groaning, mm -hmm. but um, you know these are you know lateral movements, the leg yielding, lots of transitions, um, lots of turn on the forehands. Um, the introduction of turn on the haunches, you know, I do very basic baby ones where there's no inside bend for it, but we're just moving the shoulder around because um, it's important that you loosen up, you know, not only though you have to strengthen the pushing power, but then you have to loosen up the shoulder for the horse, right? So they stay supple. So just moving the shoulder around is a wonderful thing to do. I think sometimes we get too stuck with a, a, a no guess, want to go home, I know. Um, we get stuck in uh, just like do a proper leg yield when actually you can just play with, you know, just sort of, you know, move their shoulder one way or the other, not for a test per se, but just for the suppleness of that for their bodies. Because that's um, where strength development is allowed is when they're supple and flexible. And what are some of the things that you would say if you had to say that there was a tougher thing for him or something you've kind of struggled with or had to really work harder on? Um, probably just the suppleness, right? Because he's so big, right? So bending through his body and being able to keep the pushing power and keep the balance, right? And not have him fall on the on the forehand. That's um, his hind end strength and pushing power along with suppleness is is what um, what I work on a lot with him. Um, though I do think that's universal for so many horses. So um, he's, he's, again, he's a very willing participant. He's a spooky horse. Um, so teaching him just to stay with me and focus without being dramatic about it um, is also a part of his daily routine. Um, today I rode him in the arena. Uh, we, don't, we took the jumps out, so it's just nice that there's so much open space. Um, I do do a lot of uh, dressage on the hills because I think for these young ones that is so useful and important that they learn to balance and it helps with the cross country and, and whatnot. So, you know, it's sort of with a young horse, the world is your oyster. It's all useful for them, right? <laughs> to like, you can absolutely do anything and it's useful as long as it's done in a manner that it makes sense to them, right? It's positive, it's, it's showing them and educating them and again, letting them develop their strength. And any last minute things you'll be working on ahead of the Young Event horse next week? Um, all the same, right? He's gonna go to Morven this weekend. Again, he's a little bit spooky, so just getting him different places and seeing the fillers and the, you know, when the wind is blowing and things like that and helping him realize that it's no big deal. It was really funny at Old Tavern. They had those clicky cameras. Right, so like as click, 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 as you're at, you know as you're jumping a jump, yeah. and he had they had one positioned in a combination, and he absolutely had the biggest fright ever because it was making so much noise. It was clicking, you know, they click all, like the, continuously for a long period of time. So he was having a fright about that. So that's just again with young horses, you have to take them so many places and show them all the things, and so they realize that you know there's going to be funny noises, funny things, and none of it's a big deal.